everywhere. As technology advances, researchers are interested in analyzing how people engage with technology in different settings. More importantly, they're interested in figuring out what effects it will have on individuals. For example, we've already discovered the dangers of using your cell phone while driving. But what effects does technology have on us in other social spaces? It's undeniable that technology has helped make our lives a lot easier. And now that we can reach someone with just the click of a button, people have begun to live in a faster paced world. Because of technology, we feel that we're capable of completing multiple tasks at once. But is there a downfall to multitasking? According to many researchers, there is. Meet Stephanie. She's a student at U of M who thinks she can multitask effectively. She reads, does her homework, cleans, jams out to music, talks on the phone, practically anything you can think of all at once. Now, try and watch all of the videos at once. You see how it's hard to keep track of everything she's doing? That's what happens to our brain when we try to multitask. When you're trying to accomplish two dissimilar tasks, each one requiring some level of attention, multitasking falls apart. Your brain just can't take in and process two or more simultaneous separate streams of information. People multitask everywhere, even in the classroom, where students should be concentrating on lecture. Students feel more comfortable taking notes on their laptops, but if we already know that people believe they can do multiple things at once, will they dare use their laptops for non-educational activities? Let's ask them. Yes. I often use my laptop in the classroom. I do use my laptop in the classroom. If the teacher doesn't say no laptops, then I will bring my laptop to class. I'll be tweeting. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. What else? Pandora. Pandora. Um, usually I'm just like taking notes or on Twitter or Facebook. I'm on Facebook, on Twitter, lecture notes sometimes. <laughs> when it gets boring, I just go on Facebook. I need to check my email, usually Twitter, Facebook, and do research or read articles. I'll take notes sometimes in lectures, but. I often end up just on the Facebook or Twitter or something. Maybe some uh, ESPN? Notes sometimes, Facebook, check my email, Twitter, the usual. Wait, you aren't going to tell my professor, are you? As you can see, a lot of students, although they claim to use their laptop for notes, also admit to using it to visit social networking sites like Twitter and Facebook, which in turn can be very distracting. What I'm interested in figuring out is what effect does technology have on students in the classroom? And what are the possible risks correlated with these effects? Specifically, I want to examine how laptops in the classroom affect students' grades. So, I surveyed over 200 undergraduate students at University of Michigan who took COM 102 in the beginning of 2013. First, I created a bar graph that let me see how many students use their laptop in class and how often they use it. As you can see on the right, there are a lot of students who use their laptop in class. On the far left are the number of students who don't use laptops at all. When you compare the two, there are a lot more students using their laptops versus those who don't use them at all. Next, I wanted to take a closer look at what exactly students were using their laptops for. So I created a bar graph to see how many students were using their laptops to take notes. Once again, we see that the majority of the students use them to take notes compared to those students who prefer to handwrite their notes. But as we saw before, many students use their laptops for things not related to lecture. So I decided to create another bar graph that let me see the number of students who use their laptops to visit social networking sites and how often they would use their laptops to visit these sites. As you can see on the right, there's a huge number of students who use their laptops for things not related to lecture. So in fact, students do multitask in the classroom. And if students are multitasking and not paying attention, this leads me to ask, what effects does this have on their grades? So I compared the following two variables, the frequency of laptop use in class to students' cumulative GPA. But as you can see, there is not much of a difference between the GPA of those who don't use laptops at all and those who use their laptop in every class. 
However, I decided to look at this a little bit closer. Rather than compare students' GPA to the general use of laptops, I compared it to the frequency of students who use their laptops to take notes. The interesting thing about this graph is that there is an obvious difference within the GPAs of those who frequently use their laptops to take notes versus those who don't use them at all. The GPA of the students who frequently use their laptops to take notes usually falls within the range of 1.6 to 4.0, whereas the GPA of the students who prefer to handwrite their notes falls between 2.6 to 4.0. So why do students who don't use laptops have higher GPAs? Similar to my results, a study conducted at Cornell University found that students who use their laptops in lecture perform worse on exams than those who handwrite their notes in lecture. In a 2010 study at Indiana University, the results showed that participants who handwrote information had more enhanced neural activity than those who simply typed out the information, proving that the physical act of handwriting engages the brain more so than typing. Students are constantly using their laptops for non-educational activities, which in turn causes them to have a harder time concentrating. Later, when these students have to recall the information for exams, they struggle to do so and end up performing poorly. As a result, there's a higher probability that they will have lower GPAs. So next time you consider peeking at Facebook or Twitter while in class, ask yourself, do I want my grade to suffer? Begin to avoid using technology while in class, and if you can completely eliminate it, the better. Handwriting notes will help you retain more information and help you perform better in the future on exams.